Hello guys, welcome to the Ultimate Arduino Beginner's Guide series, Lesson 7, which is making an LCD fortune teller, a uh, crystal ball type thing, uh, that's going to tell our future. It's a really cool project to do with an LCD screen, and it is also part of the, the, um, the official Arduino Beginner's thing that we've made. So today you'll need an Arduino or clone, breadboard, jumper wires, potentiometer, LCD display and a tilt switch. So we haven't used a tilt switch yet and it is a very interesting thing that, um, well you'll probably think it's quite cool and it's got very good use in this project. So uh, you'll need to wire up your components, I've put up a wiring diagram uh, which is pretty basic. Uh, the uh, tilt switch is the little black box to the right. It's got the right wire, the white pin, white, right pin going to ground, and the left pin going to 5 volts, but it's got to be via a 10 kilo, kilo ohm resistor, which I've put up there. It's got to be via a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Also, the left uh, pin of your tilt switch has got to be connected to digital pin 6. So I'll give you a second to pause it and get up your, well, wire up your stuff. Alright then, let's have a look at what a crystal ball actually is. Crystal ball can help predict the future. You can ask a question to the all-knowing ball and turn it over to reveal an answer. The answers will, will be predetermined, but you can write in anything you like. You'll choose, well, you'll use your Arduino to choose from a total of eight responses. The tilt switch will help replicate the motion of shaking the ball. So, that's what a crystal ball actually is, if you were wondering, or what we're going to do today. So, the first part, what you need to do with every single project that involves an LCD screen is the same. Hashtag include liquidcrystal.h, which imports the liquid crystal library. Okay. Uh, then, um, after you've initialised the library, you need to declare the pins that the LCD screen is attached to. So, LCD 12, 11, 5, 4, 3 and 2. So, we know that LCD is 12, 11, 5, 4, 3 and 2. And we know that LCD is also liquid crystal, because that's what we put before it. So, liquid crystal LCD 12, 11, 5, 4, 3 and 2. Uh, basically, we've given it. We've done two things. We've given it a name, LCD, and we have declared what pins it's attached to on our Arduino. Now that we've set up the library, it's time to create some variables and consonants. Create a constant to hold the pin of the switch pin, a variable for the current state of the switch, a variable for the previous state of the switch, and one more to choose which reply the screen will show. So constant int switch pin equals 6, int switch state equals 0, int previous switch state equals 0, and int reply. OK. Then we need to set up the switch pin as an input with pin mode in your setup. Start the LCD library and tell it how large the screen is. So we do this by lcd.begin. lcd.begin sets how big the screen is. So 16.2 is how big our screen is. If we had a 20 by 4 screen, we would say lcd.begin 24. And then pin mode, switch pin input. Pin mode declares pins as inputs or outputs. Switch pin is 13, so we're declaring pin 13 on your Arduino as an input. Then we are printing the first line on our screen, lcd.print ask the. Then we're setting the cursor to the second line by using lcd.cursor01. And then we are printing crystal ball on the second line. So that's fairly basic. We've just printed ask for crystal ball on the screen, created a load of variables and constants, and we have set up the screen. Now the next part, um, we say, we've said switch state equals digital read switch pin. So switch state reads switch pin, and switch pin is an input, so it reads whether it's changed or not. Well, it doesn't read whether it's changed, it reads whether it's high or low. 
And then the next part is if switch state equals previous switch state, if switch state equals low, reply equals random 8. Now, use an if statement to determine if the switch is different position than it was previously. If it is different than it was before and it is currently low, then it's time to choose a random reply. The random function returns a number based on the argument you provide. So to start you'll have a total number of 8 different responses uh, for the ball. Whenever the statement is random 8 is called, it will give a number between 0 and 7. Store that number in your reply variable. OK. Then you need to clear the screen with the function lcd.clear. This also moves the cursor back to the location at 0, 0, the first column and the first row of the LCD. And you need to print out the line, the ball says, and move the cursor for the output. So we've cleared the screen, we've set the cursor to the beginning, we've printed the ball says, and then we've set it to the second line ready for the next piece of code. Now I'm just going to explain the next piece of code. The switch statement executes different pieces of code depending on the value you give it. Each of these different pieces of code is called a case. Switch checks the value of the variable reply, whatever that value reply holds, will determine what named case statement is executed. Inside the case statements, the code will be the same, but the messages will be different. So for example, in case naught, the code says lcd.print yes. After the lcd.print function, there's another command, break. It tells the Arduino where the end of the case is. If it hits break, it skips to the end of the switch statement. You'll be creating a total of eight case statements to start out. Four of the responses will be positive, two will be negative, and the final two will ask you to try again. OK. Then, the final thing you do in your loop is to assign switch state's value to the variable previous switch state. This enables you to track changes in the switch the next time the loop runs. So previous switch state equals switch state. And then we uh, and then the final the final final line is finishes it all off as a closing curly bracket. So that is how you make an LCD screen. If you didn't catch any of that, I suggest you just go back and have a little look because I did go it very, very, very fast. But hopefully you understood it all. I went at quite a, quite a quick pace deliberately so that I wasn't blabbing on and stuff, which I am doing now, so I'm going to hurry up a bit now. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i set you two challenges today. Them two challenges are... Uh, so you need to right well, first challenge try adding your own sayings to the print statements and your second challenge is to change the number of responses so two simple challenges that I hope you will be able to do quite easily but if you can't do email me and um, if you didn't um, understand anything in this lesson or have any questions please email unofficial Arduino tutorials at gmail.com and uh, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch my many other tutorials. Uh, next time, we're not doing LCDs because it's getting a bit boring. We've done it the last three lessons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.